Are you tired of dry, boring chicken and rice that makes you wish that you weren't healthy and fit or that getting it healthy and fit wasn't a priority to you? Don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken that's so crispy, so tender, so delicious that you have dreams about it, that your mouth waters when you just think about it. This chicken and rice right here, my mouth is watering right now. The smell, the taste, everything about it just stimulates my senses. And that's exactly how you're gonna feel. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. After cooking for 12 years, I've perfected the ultimate recipes for chicken. And in this video, you too will learn how to become an expert at cooking delicious chicken, rice, and every other type of food that you need to eat as part of your health and fitness journey. So let's get after it. First off, I'm gonna put this avocado oil in the pan. Now, usually I like to use coconut oil or beef tallow. However, avocado oil is the next best choice. It's definitely better than olive oil because it has a higher smoke point. We're just gonna pop the chicken right in there. Only clean, wholesome ingredients that we actually wanna put in our body. Because at the end of the day, I mean, just think about it. If you're putting genetically modified, pesticide-filled foods into your body every single day for, you know, on average, people live to be about 80 years old. Well, that's 80 years of toxins that are accumulating. That's probably gonna cut about 10 years from your life. So now 70 years of toxins accumulated versus if you just keep yourself nice and clean, life's gonna be a lot better, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna put in here is actually chipotle. I love putting chipotle because it gives it a nice smoky smell and flavor, which is great. Very appetizing when you're cooking for friends as I am today. And everybody's gonna love the smell here. Everybody who's watching right now is gonna get their mouth watering, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic because garlic smells amazing as well. We're gonna throw that in there. Boom. Again, putting the powders before the sauces. We're also gonna use this truffle sauce. Now this stuff's spicy, so I'm not gonna put too much. We're gonna add it mostly afterwards. We're just gonna put a little bit on there. Oops, that piece is gonna be spicy right there. Lastly, we're gonna put some Celtic salt. We're giving ourselves the nutrients, the minerals, and uh, the small amount of sodium and other minerals that we need to obviously have optimal performance in the gym and optimal cognitive performance as well. I'm gonna flip this because I actually want this to get nice and caramelized. I also wanna spread this, um, this truffle sauce on the top and get both sides nice and crispy. And then when we add the, uh, the other seasoning, it's gonna get extra crispy and it's gonna be freaking delicious. All these different spices actually do increase your metabolism slightly. So anything that's spicy is gonna raise your body temperature, raise your metabolism. Again, it's very slight. It's not gonna like completely make you a superhero and get in super great shape overnight or anything like that. I mean, nothing will, but every small little benefit and advantage counts and you definitely will notice a slight difference and you'll definitely notice your body temperature going up. So I'm gonna put the same array of spices on the other side, just to make sure everything's nice and even. So last thing, Celtic thick salt, pop that on there, Woo, delicious. So this is what I call the helmet method, responsible for my delicious, smoky, amazing, super tender chicken. Just a note on low fat, like a lot of people like trip out on low fat, they're like, oh, if you eat any fat, you're gonna get fat. Fats don't make you fat. Really the first thing you need to focus on is protein, as you guys know from other content, the next thing you need to focus on would be calories, but again, your metabolism is gonna go up anyways from training and nutrition, so we really don't need to worry that much about calories. However, obviously when you get to a more advanced level, that's when we really need to tailor in the macros. Now, right now, for myself, I'm actually utilizing a high carb, low fat, high protein diet for cutting, because when I'm able to get that that much carbs in, my performance in the gym is still great, my pumps are still really great, but I'm bringing the fats down a bit to lower the calories. Now, typically, I eat higher fats because I don't like to eat super frequently, but when it comes to cutting, at my level, if I wanna keep muscle mass, keep performance, and still have great workouts, that's the way I need to go. So we're gonna let this cook for about five to 10 minutes, then we're gonna come back, we're gonna make sure it's fully cooked, we're gonna flip it again, we're gonna add the lemongrass mustard, and I'll see you guys in the next frame. This is gonna be amazing. Woo -wee. The reason why I like the helmet method is it does a couple different things. It raises the internal temperature of the chicken, which is really helpful, but it also cooks the chicken in its own smoke, which is really good because not only does it add like a nice smoky flavor to the outside, but what it also does is it locks in the moisture. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this delicious mustard marinade. I saw this at the store the other day. It actually doesn't smell as good as I was expecting it to, but it still smells good. I'm just gonna put a tiny amount on, culinary experiment. We're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna get some mustard gas in my face. Hopefully I don't die. That mustard smoke smells really good actually. So I'm gonna let it sit for maybe another couple minutes. And then from there, it should be ready to go. Now, this brown rice right here is getting ready as well. If you wanna check out my crispy rice recipe to make bone broth infused rice with crispiness on the bottom, it's a Middle Eastern specialty, then just comment down below with the word bone broth rice and I will post that video as well. But basic rice is still good. We use the Celtic salt in it and it's actually cooking very nicely. Shout out to Emron for the rice, Rice Daddy. Check him out. Gonna hit this final flip here. Freaking delicious. 
Ooh, got excited there. Always check the chicken first to make sure it's properly cooked before you actually eat it. Last thing I want is for you to get food poisoning and be like, yo, Munir, helmet method doesn't work. You said I was gonna cook the chicken fast, but my cook chicken isn't cooked. Always check the chicken first. And if it isn't fully cooked, just pop it right back on the pan, cook the sides that aren't cooked, boom, you're good to go. There's no arbitrary amount of time I could give you. Like I hate when I see recipes online or I see other chefs and they're like, oh yeah, cook it for 10 minutes of this. Well, what if my pan is different? What if, you know, my piece of chicken is different? What if this is different? I want you to develop a gut instinct for this stuff. When you develop a gut instinct, all stuff becomes easy. We're gonna check up on it. It's looking pretty good. Um, I actually almost wanna let it dry a bit because there's a lot of moisture at the bottom there and it's gonna limit the crispiness, but it's pretty crispy. We'll be back in just two minutes to take out this chicken. A few minutes later. Grand reveal. What I wanna show you right now is the crispiest chicken you will ever cook in your life. Woo-wee! Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Now, I wanna show you this chicken right here. Look at how amazing this looks right here. I mean, just look at that. It's so perfectly browned and tender. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. I'm gonna serve this up with some rice, and then I'm gonna show you a shot, my friends and I enjoying this, and then I want you to show me a shot of you enjoying this when you try this recipe for yourself. You guys ready? Let's go. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 